Well, let's move on to uh, what's happening up on Capitol Hill as soon as tomorrow. That is, the House will vote on another continuing resolution to keep the government funded. This time it'll go through April 8th, I believe. It's a three-week mm -hmm. extension. Uh, what are your thoughts on the way this is being, the way the Republicans and, and Senate Democrats are governing uh, when it comes to the budget? Well, a couple of things. I think, first of all, the fact that there wasn't a budget done last year when the Democrats controlled uh, both houses of Congress and the White House, uh, they didn't produce a budget. And so now we're dealing with continuing re resolutions, which is a very bad short term, which is a very bad way uh, to manage government. And so um, we've done a two week one that's going to expire. The Senate doesn't seem anywhere close. Uh, they are not able to, they have not been able to get a bill to the floor. And so I think that what will happen is we'll throw a three, we'll vote tomorrow on a three-week uh, resolution that will have six billion dollars in cuts. Six billion. Two billion dollars a, uh, a week. Okay. Uh, to a total of six billion cuts, we did a two-week one at four billion dollars, and so it seems to be that we're on that pace, and so that would be certainly my hope, and that uh, I think that the Senate will sign off on it, but. Um, it's, it's very difficult for, for anybody doing, it creates uncertainty for anybody trying to do business with the federal government in terms of not knowing whether they have a contract with the federal government you know, that will be honored through the end of the fiscal year. House Republicans, uh, since taking over, have, uh, there have been a lot of focus on spending cuts, a lot of discussion up there about right. that. According to a Bloomberg poll, though, when given five choices for the most important issues facing the nation, unemployment and jobs ranked first with 43 percent. That's down from 50 per, per percent from a previous poll. But deficit and spending cited at 29 percent, up from 25 percent. But still, that ranks below jobs. There have been criticism by Democrats toward House Republicans, that you're not doing enough on jobs, and that's what you ran on. Well, I think a couple of things. First of all, that the, the demand-side stimulus program uh, offered by this administration and, and by uh, Democrat congressional leadership uh, that was focused on the public sector and not the private sector, uh, $787 billion of the first tranche, simply has not been successful in bringing down unemployment. We're still stuck at a very high level at 8.9%. Um, what we need to do is lower the regulatory burdens, lower the cost of business in, in the United States um, by, by lowering taxes and, again, regulatory burdens. And I think we've done that with the 1099, the requirement that came out of uh, the, the health care initiative that w would have been uh, really produced really a job-killing burden upon small business. So what we're trying to do as best we can in the House and working with the Democrat-controlled Senate and working with um, uh, our Democrat president uh, is to do what we can to lower the burdens uh, on small business in particular, to, to allow them to cr give them some breathing space to create jobs. The, uh, on terms of the debt, um, that we have to be honest with the American people, that it will rob us of, of prosperity going forward, and that it is diverting, uh, um, we, it, our interest on the debt is, two, is over $200 billion a year, and it's diverting, uh, um, I think, uh, dollars that would otherwise be invested in this economy to fund the debt. And so I think that, that we do have a debt crisis in the United States. We simply have to be honest with the American people. Kevin McCarthy.